this is my first review, and today we are reviewing Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Let's get straight in to the review. When you walk up to Rock and Roller Coaster, you see an upside down limo and the famous icon of the ride, the guitar. It looks amazing at the front entrance, but that's only the beginning. Let's get straight into the co- These trains made by Vacoma Amusement Rides are the same trains you can find on many other coasters. But funny enough, these trains actually have a pretty cool history. When Rock and Roller Coaster was being built in the year 1999, and these were the trains when the ride was first being built in 1999. If you can tell, it looks nothing like these trains shown on the screen. What Disney did when they were constructing the coaster, they actually took all of it apart and they built brand new pieces, which you can see as today as the limo. Alright, I think I've given you guys enough history and sorry if I'm boarding you out. Let's get into the real review. First, you leave the station and you take a left turn where you can stop on the launch track. You'll be here for about 10 seconds. You launch 0 to 60 in 2 seconds and wow, what a gut punch on this launch. And when you're on a ride, it blasts you with amazing music from Aerosmith and it is amazing. Here's an example. <laughs> After you do the launch, you go into the sea serpent roll. 1 out of 6 in the world actually and it's pretty forceful. And after that, it's really not interesting. It's a bunch of overbanks, but you do go through the Hollywood sign, and the pacing is still really good. I uh, hit the mid course, uh, definitely slows it down. Uh, and, you know, it's still fun through here. Like, you're cruising through the dark. Keep in mind, this is in the dark. This is just a lights on version, but, uh, yeah, but after that. You just go into a corkscrew, and this corkscrew is very whippy. Uh, if I had to compare it to something, it's like a weaker B&M invert corkscrew. And uh, yeah, after that, you really don't go through much. After that last mid-course, you basically just circle around until you get back to the brakes, essentially. Unlike the Flight of Fear clones, you don't do a corkscrew at the end, but you do go over the launch. And that will include your ride. That's really it for this review, but I want to talk about one more thing before I leave the video. There's been heavy rumors that the ride will be shutting down. And... Do I believe it? Yes, I truly do believe that Rock and Roller Coaster is shutting down sometime soon. I mean, we saw the guitar with all the tarps on it and it's been breaking down recently i feel like it's gonna get a major overhaul probably get like vest restraints and get a whole new retheme uh we saw this without the vest restraints on um uh rock and roller coaster avec aerosmith out in disneyland paris and that's just that's just sad all right this is an amazing coaster and like, if I had to think of, like, a coaster to make a review on, my first thing that came to mind was Rock and Roller Coaster. My first ever coaster to go upside down. What a true legend. So, uh, yeah. That's it for this review. It's pretty small, but, uh, yeah. Until next time. I'll catch you guys later. Don't stay